Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to soft mod a Radeon 9500 into a 9700 with the ATI Radeon Omega drivers. Big thank you to Electromind for sending us this Radeon 9500. Check the details down below for a 20% discount voucher. With this mod, you gotta pick the right card. It's gotta be a Radeon 9500 with 128 megabytes of RAM. So not a, a 9500 Pro or a 9500 with 64 megs of RAM. It's gotta be a 9500 with 128 megs of RAM. And also the memory configuration uh, supposedly matters. It's gotta be L-shaped with two chips at the top and two chips on the right hand side. So we're gonna test the baseline performance, have a quick look at the Omega driver, do the mod, compare the boosted performance and how much of a boost we are getting. And at the end, something special for you. I've recorded the ATI Pipe Dream demo running at 1600 by 1200 resolution on this modded Radio 9500 with all the pixel pipelines unlocked. Okay guys, let's check out the ATI Omega drivers. These are fairly recent. Now the Omega drivers, they are basically modified and offer extra features and tweaks and also have the soft mod integrated. These are fairly recent from 2008 and it just asks us a few questions and here we can choose if we want the soft modded drivers. We're gonna go with the normal drivers first because I wanna run 3D Mark, get a few uh, benchmarks, figures, so we can uh, compare the before and after. So the installation is fairly straightforward. I don't need the multi-res tool just click next and it'll just install and we're back um, when it's installed on the desktop very shortly okay here we are let's have a quick look at the video card in gpu set so we can see the radeon specifications here the GPU clock 277 megahertz and the RAM runs at 270, but that's DDR memory. So the effective clock speed is 540. And here we can see the driver. So the Omega driver is based on Catalyst 7.12. This is what the uh, control panel uh, looks like. I'm just gonna make sure that VSync is turned off. So I have to untick that and then go into hang on no custom settings and just gonna make sure it's turned off here that's all good uh because we're gonna run some 3d mark also we have um atr tray tools installed that has a lot of tweaks uh installed to do various things so yes the ATI Omega Drive is very interesting. Okay, so we're gonna run some 3D Mark just to get some uh, baseline performance figures. There's really only one test we need to run. Um, the soft mode will change the, um, the pixel pipelines. At the moment, there are only four, but the GPU has eight, and the soft mode will unlock four more. And there's one test, the fill rate test that will show that. Um, this one here, but I will also run the regular game test just so I get a 3D Mark score to get up before and after. So I'm just going to run that and then we'll be back with the results. Okay, so we're getting 13,285 for the benchmark and let's have a look at the fill rate results. Uh, here, we, here we go. Um, the interesting one is this one here. So for the multi texture in 1,104 basically and that figure should double once we unlock the four extra pixel pipelines. So basically what we're gonna do now is just install that driver once again, but this time we're gonna select the soft mod. So where it says here, uh, we just go soft modded Radeon 9500 drivers and off we go. And that sh should unlock the four extra pipelines. Okay, and here we are, we can see eight pixel pipeline. So let's run 3D Mark again. And we should see a doubling in performance with the uh, texture fill rate and also a higher uh, 3D Mark result in general. So I'm just gonna cross it off. We're gonna run the same test. So the fill rate and all the game tests. And you also need to look out for uh, graphics artifacts, uh, any glitches. Apparently very uh, common is like a checkerboard pattern or some sort. Um, but this card seems to work fine. I haven't had any issues. So let's run the benchmark and we will be back shortly. 
Okay, so the improved score, 17,439. So that's a huge upgrade compared to 13,285 we got before. And let's have a look at the pixel fill rate results. We should see double the number. So 2,195 instead of 1,104. So there you go. Operation successful. We have successfully soft modded the Radeon 9500, unlocking those dormant four pixel pipelines. So there you have it, guys. That's how you soft mod a Radeon 9500 into a 9700. So back in the day, that would have been quite a nice upgrade. Of course, it didn't work for everyone, but if you do come across a Radio 9500, then definitely give it a go. You might get a nice little speed boost. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I definitely was uh, really happy to finally have done this. I always wondered um, what it was like. And yeah, so next up, we've got the ATR Radeon Pipe Dream demo running on this modded 9500 with the 8 pixel pipeline. So enjoy. Thanks for watching. And I shall see you soon with another video.